Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, I have a haul for you today. I haven't done one in a while, so I have a little bit more stuff than usual. So let's just get started. Um, happy holidays. So the first thing I have is, are these jogger pants? Um, this is from a brand called Up West. So I've been seeing a lot of um, ads for this on Instagram and I actually saw like an actual brick and mortar store of this. So I think they might be definitely a new brand, but they're up and coming. So I found this at Goodwill um, for $5. It was on sale. Um, just kind of a nice athletic jogger. Um, they don't have that much listed on Posh or eBay. Um, so we'll see how this does. This is listed. I think I listed it for like 35 or something. So I, I'd be happy getting anywhere from like 25 to 30. So that's the first item. Next one, I have a lot of bread and butters, so that'll be good. Next is, this is an Athleta pant. It's called the Textured Brooklyn Jogger. Yeah, so I've sold a lot of Athleta, but I've never sold this particular particular kind of textured, kind of looks like um, seersucker. But yeah, size six in this mustard color jogger. Yeah, these, um. These will go anywhere between like $25 to $30, and I got this for $8, I believe. So yeah, um, just, you know, regular um, Athleta. I do love selling Athleta just because they sell well for me and usually pretty fast. Okay, next is a brand that I'd never heard of, but I remember seeing it recently at Nordstrom, and then I saw it at the thrift. So it's a basic t-shirt of stripes but it's from this brand so that's pronounced like no nationality i don't know about the sell through rate for this but for a basic t-shirt they do go for like between 20 to 30 dollars so not bad i got this for three dollars out of goodwill so we'll see how this does okay next i have a lululemon shirt this is a v-neck uh, long sleeve and a little bit older as well so you can see by the logo it's kind of it's like a gel logo instead of their normal logo but anyways i got this for found it for ten dollars at a goodwill um yeah long sleeve has this on the back anyway yeah okay next this one is um the first time i found this brand it is Filson. This is like their Polar Tech vest, but it does have a like a brand or something business on here, which I think diminishes the value by a little bit, but hopefully not too much just because it's still their um, fleece vest. Uh, found this for nine dollars, so I'm hoping to get you know anywhere between 30 to 40. Um, yeah, it's like an uh very like muted green color okay next are these are a chino short from page so these are men's size 30 i didn't know page made men's clothes because i only know of their um jeans but yeah i was pretty surprised to find these and these do sell for a little bit better than the women's stuff um Paid seven dollars for it, and I think I should get hopefully twenty five to thirty. But I think I listed it for like forty, so we'll see. Next is another chino pant. This is from the brand Billy Reed. So this is a brand that's sold on the Huckberry website, where you know a lot of other like lifestyle brands are sold. Um, yeah, these are size 34 they're called the win short also seven dollars and hopefully could get between 25 to 30. whoops let me take a drink this is a arnold palmer green tea with lemonade with peach flavoring which does a lot so usually they make arnold palmer with black tea i think but i like it with green tea Okay, let's get back to it. Next is a really weird find. This 
you'll see it. So this is a very large shirt. Um, most of you can probably tell, but this is from The Mountain. But this is a weird collab with Urban Outfitters that they did. And this is actually not a shirt. This is a shirt dress, which sounds ridiculous because this literally just looks like an oversized shirt. I hope you can see. So I have no idea what Urban is trying to do, but this is a oversized shirt dress. So anyway, I had to list it as a shirt dress, which was kind of disappointing because I thought this was just like a large t-shirt. But yeah, anyways, um, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I had to kind of look it up. Um, $3 at Goodwill, so not bad. I'm hoping to get between 20 to 25. Okay, next, it's another... This is a Lululemon uh, half zip, like little top sweater thing. Um, here is the logo and it's very stretchy. Yeah, I paid $10 for this and I'm hoping to get um, probably 30 for this. Yeah, I found some Viore joggers. I don't really list Viore on eBay anymore because I think there was like some talk of it being Vroed. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. So I don't really want to risk that. So sometimes I post it on um, Poshmark or like a Facebook marketplace. But this one, I think I'll just do Poshmark just because it's easier. Um, yeah, so this is called the Balboa pant, even though it's a jogger. Um, it's okay condition. I mean, not the best. There's some wear on it, but it, the demand for Viore is still very high. And, um, and yeah, I got this for $10, hoping to get about 35 ish Yeah, the next three items, they're all Athleta. Uh, very bread and butter for me, and I love Athleta. So the first are these shorts, kind of, um, they have that grid material, but it's a smaller grid. Um... Athleta, this is, I don't know what, size 6, but yeah, nice blue color, paid $7 for it, hopefully can get around um, 25 Next, another Athleta, size 6, this is more of like, less um, workout-y, but still, I don't know, athleisure, yeah, $7 and last one, this is the same as the last one, but um, different color and different size, size 8, that one is 6. So yeah, just bread and butter, ba uh, basic, really easy to list, and photographs, so I love doing um, shorts. Um, this was also $7, and hopefully I can get around 20 Alright, next is... This is a Lululemon top, but this is, um, this says berries on it, which is like that gym. I think they have a couple col um, collabs. Um, this is, I believe, the Metal Vent Tech. Here's the logo. I know it's the Metal Vent Tech because those have the writing on the, on the hem. Can you see it? There we go. Yeah, this was $10, which is kind of high. Goodwill is like charge a lot for athletic clothes. They're like athletic tops and bottoms for $10. I was like, okay, well, this should be like $6.99. Okay, next is a pair of jeans. This is a Goldie, which I'm, I've never found before, but I know a lot of um, people pick this up. So I think it's a good brand and it retails for like over $100. Size 27. This is a high waisted um, button fly. Jeans. Really nice condition. Um, yeah. I paid, I believe, $12 for it, which is not bad because I hope to get over 40 for them, hopefully. I sold, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, the jean brand Mother. Mother's very popular. I found um, a jean by them. Same store, I already sold them um, for 12 bucks and I sold it for $70. So I made like 56 on Poshmark after the fees. So 
so yeah um i don't think this will do as well as the mothers but hopefully around 40. okay so the next two are two items that i uh got from nordstrom rack uh, they do that like um 40 off clearance sale so i went to see what's up uh, i didn't find a lot of stuff but i did find two things one is this sweaty betty um sports bra it's called the stamina long line workout bra this um retails for around 44 but i ended up getting it for like seven dollars i think so not bad i think there's you know um can make a little bit of profit on that so not bad and the other item i got there was this free people this is called like a corset top or something like that um it's a cute little top it's from intimately free people this retailed for 68 dollars. it was on sale for 9.99 then i got the 40 percent on top of that so i think i ended up paying like seven dollars as well so not bad for the two items that's all i got from there um Okay, next I found yet another cool pant. So I know last um, haul or two hauls ago, I was saying that I've been finding a lot of cool lately and it hasn't stopped. I still have been continuing to find a lot. This is size 40 by 32. Uh, another Deceptor model. Um, $10. Really nice. But one thing I didn't notice was that there was some... On the back of the leg this i don't know how to describe this but i described it at like as like road rash which seems to this is what it looks like road rash um on the back of one of the legs so i didn't notice that in the store but i usually would list this around like 45 but because of that i listed it for around 35. that okay we are making our way next is a little sweater this is from marine layer size small this was also on sale um for five dollars it was 10 originally but i paid five for it so really nice soft um basic but you know hopefully i can get a 30 ish for it not bad um I don't know if I mentioned, but for the, the cool, I paid $10. Okay, next. So this one's I'm actually really excited for because this brand I've been uh, on the lookout for a while, but I've never found it. And it is Bird Dogs. So Bird Dogs is sort of competing with Lululemon because they're like, they made their own version of the ABC pant and it's supposed to be much tighter in the butt. And uh, I keep seeing their commercials or ads for it. But anyways, um, I think they have their own like separate customer base, but very similar to Lululemon. So here's the inside. This is a lined, um, lined pair of shorts. It has the inside lining. Just kind of a, you know, basic white short, but like very elevated. I would wear this. Um, yeah, size medium. I paid, I think 650 for it. So hopefully, I'm not exactly sure how much these are going for, but I do know that they were in demand about a year ago. So I'm sure there's still demand for them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for them. 650, not bad at all. Next are these red shorts. This is from Gymshark. I got this for $5, so I thought, oh, I could just um, flip it quick for like $20, hopefully, or a little bit less, because these are super light, very easy to photograph and list so I don't mind doing it for you know a lower profit five dollars okay we're getting to the end of it don't worry okay next what did I tell you another pair of cool these are shorts I've been finding a lot of pants so this is the first short I found in a while um, size 36 really nice condition um, not sure what so style these are I paid 850 for these I think it's worth it. I'd say um, I wouldn't really call cool like a bread and butter because I think it's it's like a higher end bread and butter for me. Just because I find it pretty often now and um, but you still get, you know, good money for it. So higher end bread and butter. 
cool. Okay, next I found another pair of Biore shorts. This is the core short. So this is the lined version. I've sold these a couple times. Again, I wouldn't list these on eBay, just on Posh or Facebook Marketplace. Um, yeah, how's that? They'll go right here. Yeah, just shorts paid, uh, I believe, like eight fifty for these. So I should be able to get between twenty five ish to thirty. That's the goal. Okay, two items remaining. First, I got these. This is a 511 Tactical Polo shirt, um, Tactical series. I've sold like 511 Tactical pants, which I think do well. I'm not sure about their polos. Um, this was four dollar, no, three fifty. So didn't have too much into it. Hoping to just get like fifteen and being done. Um, I wouldn't pick this up again, just because I realized for a lot of the brands that do well, their tops don't do as it's always pants. But this is a nice, you know, technical shirt. It has, you know, little holders. I don't know, for bullets. This. That as well. And that's the logo back here. But yeah, in really good condition. Um, yeah. Okay, last but not least, I have these pants. Everlane, size 6. This is, I believe, like the barrel crop or something like that. It's, um cropped pants, nice green color. Um, I did hear that Everlane jeans still do pretty well. I'm not sure about their tops. And another thing I heard is that Everlane women's do better than Everlane men's, which I think is true because I've had a couple of Everlane men's items that's, you know, have sat for a long time. Um, but the women's one, it's a little bit faster. Got it for $8, um, I believe, and hope to get between 25 to 30 dollars yeah anyway so that is the end of my haul that was probably my biggest haul to date um i hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe there's more coming i'm gonna do a what sold next so thanks for watching guys